All right. Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, we saw in the news that the Turkish forces, they occupied the village of Afrin. And as I expected, it's going to take them almost four months before they can take it. And this is how weak this army, which is a weak, it's an army of a nation contained 100 million population. Took them more than three months, almost four months to take over a village. And now we hear in the news exactly what we expected, that the Turkish army is looting an Arabian women in uh, that village but me myself i'm not really surprised this is what the turkish army do through centuries and centuries and you don't believe me go and read history uh, i'm not against any ethnic group and i'm not racist but history speak and it's repeating itself and here we go i mean the news is in front of your eyes i'm not saying anything from my own uh, not only they are looting and stealing, they are even taping themselves. They are recording themselves in video, stealing furniture, a bathroom seat, a window, a door, a coffee table, a coffee cup. I mean, how savage this army is and we are in the year 2018 and the savage army of turkey did not change it was the same army who used to take kids and make them work as slaves and later they make them as warrior to fight for the sultan i watch a video actually it's a movie but it's speaking about the history of the turkish how they used to attack the russian villages and they kidnapped the young ones to turn them into fighters to fight and die for the sake of the turkish that is the truth and the shame is not the shame of the turkish because the turkish are they are turkish anyway i'm not i don't blame the turkish to be turkish i'm blaming the european they are watching and they are keeping their mouth shut i mean look how brave they are to speak about bashar al-assad who is supposedly a dictator and everybody, his mouth is wide open, and we want to bomb Syria, and we want to attack Syria, and we want to, etc. Why? Because he is not a protecting civilian. And where is the European Union about what's happening in there? Where is the, the idiot Trump about what's happening in there? Why all of them, they go blind? What a bunch of cowards. It is disgusting. It's a shameful, but in the same time, that is going to bring a very good news. You see, people who do not know history, history always repeats itself. Turkey is coming down. If you go in the news in the last 24 hours, you will see that the impact of attacking Afrin and taking over Afrin, and one announcement from the Kurdish that the war just started, what happened to the Turkish economy? The Turkish lira is down in a record of time, like never happened to go down as much as now, which means the country is going to face a bankruptcy. Because as the Kurdish just said, the war just started. And the war just started, that means the war just started. You took a village, you will see what will happen. You know, for those who do not know, the Kurdish are big population in, 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 in Turkey. We are not talking about, uh, you know, Turkey attacking a village in the neighborhood. The Kurdish are big population inside Turkey. We are talking about tens of millions. So what will happen inside Turkey is going to be scary. And always a scary news, scare the economy. You know, bus businessmen... Uh, I don't want to call them coward, but money is coward. You know, when they see any country facing this, uh, like a stable, uh, don't have enough stability, money immigrate immediately. It run the first thing go out of a country facing problems is the money. So now Turkey, the reason for the lira is to go down is very simple. People are exchanging their lira with euro and dollar to escape. 
because businessmen now they are preparing themselves for what's coming the Kurdish they just announce the war to be started and because the Kurdish there are people who they are not the kind who will take things easy you know like you cannot uh, rape rape their women and they will let you uh, have fun with it no the, the Kurdish are not this kind of people they are very very proud people of their dignity so Turkey just opened the door of hell gate on themselves economy is coming down country is coming down war just started civil war will be everywhere and you just count on my words and see what will happen I don't like war I don't like to see bloodshed but the Turkish they ask for it and the Kurdish they have no choice but to defend themselves uh, and uh, and the Mujahideen of Erdogan the first thing they did when they enter uh, the city of Afrin they destroyed and uh, any statues is exist in the town which is presenting the heritage of the Kurdish because it's haram it's haram you know do you see what the savage the savage Islamic religion do this city is is is, is living in peace attacking no one they never attack the Kurdish the, the Turkish they never have a problem with, with anyone they live by their own in their inside their country they invade them and they brought a terrorist from Al-Qaeda and the right the first thing they do you can go and search the, the videos how the first thing they do you know uh, let us see the, the the images maybe we can see it in the images uh, it's not appearing here in the images you you can you can search it and you will see it yourself the first thing they do when they enter the city they destroy the statues and all the heritage of the Kurdish in the town because simply they are preparing this is the plan of Erdogan he want to expel the Kurdish from this area so he will have only his own uh, Turkish people because uh, there is uh, there is citizen in Syria they are Turk uh, Turkmen which means from T Turkey you know they are Turkish so he will replace the Kurdish by the Turkish and he will make all the line in the borders with Turkey occupied by Turkish this is the plan but is it going to work will never work Turkey is coming down and the price is going to be so high tomorrow when the Turkish go outside in the street actually today not tomorrow and they find that their lira cannot buy them a sandwich and they find that their salary cannot buy them a one kilogram of meat and then let us see what is going to be useful for you for stealing a toilet seat as we see in the front of us in the news what that will do to you and what kind of a shameful country is part of the NATO and how come what kind of NATO accept such an army to be part of it an army of thieves criminals rapists and this is part of the NATO how that can happen who agree with this it's a shame I'm not going to say this is a shame for the Turkish army because the Turkish army is a Turkish army all all in their history they are rapists thieves criminals and nothing change nothing change one and a half million Armenians slaughtered including women and children for no reason except they are Armenian Assyrian Syrian Kurdish you name it nothing change and the coward European Union the French the British the coward Trump was watching the mascara from his bedroom and he did nothing about it and then they say to us that the Kurdish are our friends well how they are your friends and you let them die you idiot so they are your friends when they want to fight Isis and they are not your friends when they fight the Turkish shame on you shame on you Trump for doing nothing I'm very disappointed very disappointed however I believe at the end of the day the only thing will happen is the truth and the truth nobody can defeat it those people they are defending their houses their country their 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 their, their life and they are going to get back what they lost
thank you for watching share the video around and god bless you and see you soon again thank you bye bye